probably guess what I'm going to ask you about? Uh, probably Brett Favre. Okay, you know what? You better not, we'll talk about it. <laughs> that Alex Rodriguez. All right, no, you know what? Let's. Uh, ooh, I didn't even <laughs> think about that. Maybe we'll follow up with that. I want to talk to you about Brett Favre. Okay. Um, you're one of the best quarterbacks in NFL history. We're dealing with another one of the greats of all time, going through, really, for the first time in his career, controversy, yeah. where the public is not all in favor right. of Brett. Do you feel for him as a, as a fellow athlete? Do you realize what he's going through and what it's like walking away from the game? Yeah, it's tough to walk away, especially when he did, because you, you feel so uh, spent and beat up at the time when he decided to retire that he felt like he probably didn't have any more energy to give to it. But then after you sit around for a couple of months, you start to get that feeling back again when it gets close to football again. So that's what he's kind of going through. But Green Bay kind of made the decision to move forward. They made an organi organizational decision, and now Brett's changed his mind, and they're both in a bad situation right now. My understanding, though, is the NFL is a let's win right now sort of a league. So what the Packers are then communicating is that they believe they have a better chance of winning with Aaron Rodgers this year than Brett Favre, or am I off there? Are they thinking future? Not so much so because they would have geared their draft a little bit differently if Brett, they knew Brett was coming back. But when they when he didn't come back, now they drafted two quarterbacks, which they probably would have never done. So they wasted a very high draft pick on a number two pick for a quarterback. So they've made the adjustments not only in the draft, they also made adjustments in their offense, the way they're going to run their offense this year, geared more towards the quarterback. So all these different things and the psyche of their football team has changed because now they're all rooting for uh, Aaron Rodgers. So it'd be kind of tough to tell them, all, okay, we got to go back to the, to the Brett Favre era, change the offense back, all these different things they'd have to do. They're both in a pickle. It's a bad situation for both of them. If you're Packers management, do you release him? I don't think you release him because you might have to play against him. <laughs> you know, he might end up in your division. Chicago, he, Minnesota? Yeah, you just don't want that to happen. So you're going to have to keep him around, or hopefully you're trying to make him decide to go ahead and stay retired. That would be the best thing for everybody. But Brett still wants to play, and he has the right to do that. Do you get a chance to talk to Brett much? I mean, do you guys have like a, hey, we're the greatest of all time club? No, we uh, we see each other at a lot of different events, and we talk about, we, we very rarely talk a lot about football. I see him during the season sometime, and I'll talk a little bit about football, but you try and stay away from those subjects because you're, you're inundated with football all the time. But um, if he ever needed my advice, he knew how to call me. And uh, since you brought it up, any thoughts on A-Rod? Well, he's speaking of messes. He's really got himself yeah, in a Yeah, it's just one of those things where we need to stay out of people's personal lives. I just I just don't believe in that when it comes to just because you're a celebrity, every, we need to know everything that's going on. Because, you know, this thing with him and Madonna, we don't know what their relationship really is. They could be very good friends, whatever it might be. But because you got one of the most popular ladies in the world and you got one of the most popular athletes in the world, it makes for good conversation. And you would think that him playing in New York, boy, this adds a lot more than, let's say, if he was in Houston or right. Pittsburgh or something like that. Exactly. And um, New York has a whole bunch to do with it. And then the fact that he's talk we're talking about one of the most, most famous women around in Madonna, sure. it makes it very juicy. All right, so now let's talk about the good stuff tonight. Do you like coming out to parties like this? You still I throw it. it down. I love it. I, I, this is a chance to see a lot of the athletes, uh, former and current, that you don't get to see all the time. So usually it's at functions like this where you get a chance to catch up. So um, I love coming to stuff like that. I love being around sports. I'm a fan of all different sports. And no better place than to see it all right here than at, at the ESPYs. And I almost feel foolish asking this as the final question. Is there anybody that you're anxious to maybe have an opportunity to meet? That can't happen for you, can it? There's not many people that I haven't met already that I want to meet. Um, there's one person I'd like to meet, and it's not an athlete. It's Halle Berry. Me and you both, Warren. Me and you both. <laughs>